I haven't done many foundation reviews lately, mainly because I haven't worn any foundation for most of the last two years anyway. I still don't wear it daily, but there have been rare occasions and for them I wanted something else than the full coverage one that I use for filming. Something less heavy. And the L'Oreal Unfallable 32 Hours Fresh Wear claiming a fresh, breathable and lightweight formula seemed to be a good one to ease my way back in. But is it true to its claims and how does it wear on my sometimes oily, acne-prone and mature skin? Let's see. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. Our breakthrough long wear foundation offers up to 32 hours of wear with a weightless formula that allows the skin to breathe. As you would expect from the description, it is a very runny formula that I prefer to either apply with a beauty blender or my fingers. Old school, I know but I found that if I used a brush, the flatter ones worked the best. The fluffier ones I used sometimes left it looking a little patchy or made it emphasize my pores. The finish is skin-like, neither matte nor extra dewy, and the coverage is medium yet buildable to full. As you can see, the pigmentation on my lower cheeks is still shining through, as is some hyperpigmentation on my temples but it did a pretty good job at evening up the rest of my face, and that with just one layer dabbed on with a damp beauty blender. While it doesn't feel heavy, I can definitely feel I'm wearing something, similar to how a heavier moisturizer would feel. I've worn more lightweight foundations, yet definitely heavier foundations as well, and it isn't uncomfortable. That something on my skin feeling will disappear within the first hour. I need to preface that by saying that I did not use a primer or makeup fixing spray when filming these clips, mainly because I don't use them when I wear foundation throughout the day. If you use one or both, you might be able to increase the longevity on your skin. The first thing that I notice at around the two hour mark is that it gets a little more dewy around the nose and chin area than I prefer, but otherwise I am still happy with how it looks. If it weren't for the review, I would powder now, but I didn't do it to show you how it performs on its own. If I had very dry and flaky bits of skin, like the leftovers of a dried up sit or similar, the foundation would stick to that by now and emphasize the flakes a little. Now remember that the footage you are looking at here is filmed in natural light and in 4K. What you see here is pretty much what you would see when you would meet me in real life. From a distance it still looks pretty good, but close up you can see it start to separate and disappear a little around the nose with some of the redness I have there shining through. Other than that though, as you can see in the close up, it isn't settling into my lines, pores or doing other weird things. The foundation disappearing is now visible from the distance, around the nose and chin and even more so close up. There is still some coverage going on, but you can see more texture of pigmentation shining through. If I had an important meeting or date, pah, I would touch up now. Now, six hours don't even come close to a workday for the majority of us, and I would expect a foundation that claims to be long wearing to last longer than that. It is long enough for a night out though, which is when I wear foundation, and of course depends on your skin and additional preparation steps you took. This is right before I take it off. Apologies for the change in lighting, I was using natural light from a north facing window and this one is more flattering than the other clips before. The coverage now is almost entirely gone, you get a good look at the angry red seat on my chin that previously stayed covered pretty well. It looks similar to how my face looked before I put on foundation in the morning, with maybe a little less prominent pigmentation on the cheeks, but that might be the changed lighting more than the foundation though. Still, it doesn't emphasize my lines or makes my face look worse than it did bare, don't laugh, that happened to me with other foundations, so... I don't mind it too much. I have not obviously tested it for 32 hours, but as it claims up to, which is a sneaky way of saying anything between 1 and 32 hours is possible, I didn't expect it to last that long anyway. Still, 6 hours is a little shorter than I would have hoped. Not shown here is how well it works for touch-ups. My preferred way is to go in with a damp clean beauty blender to redistribute it and then maybe add an additional very light layer in areas where it has completely rubbed off. It isn't perfect but looks well enough to see me through the final meeting of the day without having to redo my full face. 
I do enjoy it on skin like mine, which can be oily in the T-zone, but also dehydrated or dry in other areas, and that is prone to breakouts. As it doesn't emphasize fine lines and wrinkles, I think it will work well on more mature skins as well. The only skin type I would not recommend this to is very oily ones, as my natural oils did start to break it up at around the 4 hour marks, which makes me doubt that it will stay long on these skins. If you have a lot of texture in dry skin, I don't think it will be the best either. You will probably need something more hydrating than that. Have you tried the foundation? Please tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram, blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye!